All right, everyone. I didn't learn my lesson last time after getting thrown in prison. So we're back with Delivery Guy 2. Last time around, actually, some people expressed concern when I said that Kappa was hitting hard. It was a joke. We're good. Kappa hasn't impacted things here yet. Hopefully it stays that way. But still, I feel like I need to make more deliveries. First one was actually great. I loved it. This is one of my favorite maps, or hopefully this one will be too. Let's play and see what's going on. Creeper Lad MC. Hopefully you got another good one for us here. Delivery Guy 2, Electric Boogaloo by Creeper Lad MC. So remember where we left off last time? Ah, <sighs> well, Fred, my pal, we're sure having a great time here together. Unalive me, please. And the best part is, we have 19 more years to spend together. Where's a falling piano when you need one? Now, remember, Frank can absorb nutrients with his eyeballs, so he probably is fine with prison. Inmate 2756, your conduct has been terrible in the past months. What are you going to do? Evict me? <laughs> Apparently, yes. <laughs> well, there's an upside and downside to this. The upside is I'm out of prison, jail. Uh, the downside is we don't get to hang out. That's another upside, actually. What? Nothing. Don't worry about it, Frank. The downside is now I have nowhere to live. Uh, hey, there's something in my pocket. Hiring. Salary, $350,000 a year. With luxurious room and board provided? My dream job! Oh, crap. Oh, God. Back with Tony again? Tony, has it been the 20 years already, uh, Tony? Uh, here for the job, I presume. Fred, I'm leaving. Tony, wait! I know you don't have very good memories of this job. Uh, so you'll try to make the job less disturbing? No, you needed the money, remember? <laughs> You've been hired, congrats! <laughs> it's not been 20 years, it's been like 20 hours, but, um, they evicted me for bad conduct, so... You know, all right, great, thanks, Tony. Here you go. Uh, leave through the iron door. All right, another another one of these, eh? Take this to uh, number 362. I don't actually remember a 362 on Kennedy Street. So, by the way, if you've missed the first installment of Delivery Guy, I'll leave it linked in the description. It's a true gem, and I don't think you'll want to miss it, and it'll give you some context for why I ended up in prison. It had something to do with a burger child food baby. Yeah, anyway, it's, it was a whole thing. Residence 362, eh? What's at the end of the street here? Well, this is an interesting neighborhood in the middle of nowhere and with very incomplete houses, but that's okay. All right, 362. Ding dong. Hello, anybody home? Oh, it just door opens, lets me right in. Very nice. Look, it is me from the third person. What the? Uh... What's your problem? Never seen a robot before. Uh, humans are so insensitive sometimes. Is it just because I'm a robot? I can't enjoy food. Actually, uh, well, you're wrong. We have rights too. I'll take that. Thank you. Huh. It's a robot. He just ate a burger. Oh, nuts. Ah, uh, you don't look so well. Oh, he's okay. Kidoki happened again. One hospital stay later. Am I going to be charged with unaliving a robot? Ah, I see you. You're back. Uh, huh. Yeah, thanks for your concern, Tony. Really appreciate you sending me on these deliveries. Uh, by the way, I didn't know robots could own property. Well, you didn't know that burgers counted as a people either. Anyway, <laughs> damn it, Tony. I. This is ridiculous. Here you go. go. You might want to also put this on. What if you put a, a mask? What do you mean? A mat? Can I? Don't let them know you're human. I see. Tony, how do you get these clients? I just, you know what? On second thought, deniability. All right. Let's go make the next delivery to uh, uh, Residence 122. Okay. I see a lot of cobwebs over here. I'll, uh, wow, look at that. Moving smoke out of the chimney. Or is it cobwebs? I can't tell exactly, given the context. They'll never know! They'll never have any idea! Oh, I put it on, don't you worry. Here goes nothing. Look, it is I! They will surely not see the nose sticking out of the front of the mask, ever! It's Mrs. Webb! Why, hello there, young man! I take it you're the exterminator! 
Uh, extremely, I'm just a delivery guy. Don't worry about Oh, yes, silly me. I do hope you were the exterminator, though. You see, we have the most annoying pest issues. <laughs> what a reversal here, dude. What a twist. Eek! It's it again! Our house is infested with those nasty humans. I'm most terrified of these pests. Do me a favor. Get rid of that pest. Uh, would this be... Yeah. Uh, known as a um, a squatter in this situation. Uh, human spray, huh? Click here to use the pesticide. Oh, wow, I'm a traitor to my own species. Well, I'm super sorry about... Wow, this is... So I get in trouble for unaliving a hamburger, and and now I'm just out here, and it's perfectly fine that I'm just... I've just been found out. Angry hisses, spraying noises, and is that it for me? Uh, Suppotox pesticide. Another hospital stay later. Series of unfortunate events, truly. That's great. I'm back, Tony. Why are you always so late? You've been gone for a week. Uh, I nearly died on this job. Whatever, this is coming out of your vacation time. Vacation time? Oh, yeah, you don't have a vacation time. Ha, lol. Anyway, you have another delivery to deliver. You're a third of one. Actually, this is my fifth one. By the way, unless you forgot about the other two. Deliver this to residence at number 121 and you get your month's salary. Wait, that's it? Yep, now go through the door. Wait, it was said previously that I only got paid after... One year of work. Did he change the policy? I'm making like thirty thousand dollars after I make this delivery. Oh my god, dude! Things are looking up for me now. This is the biggest payday delivery of all time. Good lord, thirty thousand dollars. Residence one twenty one. I don't even have to put on a mask this time. All right, it's gonna be great. This couldn't possibly go wrong. Not a portal. Yeah, better not be because those are corners right there, dude. Ding dong. Well, this is weird house. There is no door. This reminds me of a portal for some reason. Oh, God. Uh, no, I can't be a port. Yeah, the dimensions are all off, dude. Am I just, I'm just gonna walk into that, because that's a good idea. You know, the same particle effects as the human spray spray. Oh, God, really? Not a portal, not a portal. Not, no, just all my imagination. All my imagine. I didn't just end up inside a science testing lab facility. That that would never happen. Hey, researcher, what's it doing? How's it going, mate? My friend, thank you so much. Wow, you must really like your lunch. Oh, silly me, I haven't told you. Our lab specializes in developing particle transmission technology. Or, in simpler words, we make portals. You happen to be our hundredth voluntary test subject. Voluntary. I, are you sure you're familiar with, with that word and what it means? Because I'm not so sure. Sure, you're a volunteer. You're an involuntary volunteer. Thanks for your help. Our portal is now ready for public use. Wait, almost? Yeah, it still corrupts the DNA of whoever uses it. Guess I shouldn't have told you. Please don't sue me. Did I just become burger? One surgery, one surgery later. Oh, I'm no longer a burger kind anymore. Isn't that nice? What the? Where am I? Oh, I'm still in this place. Good. He just chloroformed me and put me on an operating table. How do you feel, Fred? What happened? Your entire body's genetic information was destroyed. Thanks to modern medicine, we can fix the rest of your body. In other words, your entire body went haywire, uh, which will be ready in about two weeks. At least I got my month's salary. 30,000. By the way, here's the medical bill. Well, uh, at least I won't have to deal with Frank anymore. Um, yeah, about that. We had to find a body for you while yours was being fixed up. What do you, wait, what do you mean? Well, we had to implant your head somewhere, and what's this lump beside me? It's only a temporary arrangement, sir. Fre Frank, what? The now we hang out 24-7 for the next two weeks, sir. Please stay calm. Please. Oh, okay. Moral of the story, don't deliver food. <laughs> but <laughs> I wanted to see the uh I wanted to see the actual abomination of of me and I don't know what's happening on the screen anymore with the text scrolling, but I wanted to see the abomination of me bolted onto Frank's body. 
and it didn't get to happen. That's the only disappointment here. Also, uh, message to everybody um, as a response to the map saying, more of the story, don't deliver food. That's wrong. I thank you, food delivery drivers, unless you're Kenneth. But everyone else who's a food delivery driver, I appreciate you for enabling to me to eat every single day because I order every meal for delivery. So without food delivery drivers, I wouldn't be here right now. So that's a, not the good moral of the story. I appreciate you all. Again, other than Kenneth. And thanks for watching Delivery Guy 2. Thank you, Creeper Lad MC, for making these very very beautiful quality content thanks for watching make sure to like if you liked check out the playlist if you want to catch more maps or if you missed the first one subscribe to the channel if you're not already and speaking of quality content feel free to check ucathletics.com for quality content merch all right see you later